Mr. Marston. How are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. How oh, very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull. Feeding to the vultures myself. Ah, uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America... <clears throat> That lubricant with which we concern ourselves is money. Money? What are you talking about? Oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. And I need some danger money. So, let's sell some more of these cures. Sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? <laughs> no, the sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> but come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> All right, welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption. I know it's been, what, almost like two weeks now. I'm sorry about that. But anyway, we're back. The company West Dickens to Gap Tooth Breach. Okay. Well, he said something about racing, and uh, if I remember correctly, back when I first started playing this game, there was a racing mission, which I just couldn't beat to save my life. I don't know why, I just could not beat that fucking mission. And if it's that mission, I hope uh, it's not a repeat. Oh, what's this? Hang on. Racing in carriages? No, this is not the same. Here we are, John. Gap tooth breach. Wait, hang on. What are we doing? Easy does it. Get on the car to start the race. I don't think this is the same race as I'm as I'm thinking of. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. I can't really remember. We'll find out. Yeah! Who the fuck is gonna play by the rules? Come on. Let's go, go, go! Out of my way! I'm, I'm taking you all out. Just letting you know. Out of the way! Oh, shit! Oh, someone's gone. Look at that. Shooting other races or spectators will cause you to be disqualified. Alright. So no murder, basically. Well, I am in a comfortable lead right now. Maybe this isn't the race. I'm not sure. Maybe we're not up to the race yet. Well, maybe I, j I was just a real fucking noob back in the day. Which I probably was. Because how old was I? I was probably like... 14? 15? Something like that. I think I was 14. Maybe 13. I don't know. You know, I don't... I don't know. You can hold down RB to move your car backwards. Okay. Basically let the other guys have a chance. Because we're fucking them up right now. 
That's for sure. And I only have to cheat a little bit. Alright, come on, horse. Man, don't tell Warhorse, but uh, you're doing a pretty good job. A well, Warhorse is known to be jealous, so don't don't say anything, alright? Just keep it between us. Alright, I don't know how long this race is. I think we're coming up to the end soon, though. There's only like one guy that's even remotely close to me. He's just got that glimmer of hope that he's going to pass me somehow. He's actually getting pretty close, though. I don't like this. Yeah, fuck. Look at this guy, man. He he wants to win. Hey, hey, hey. I don't think so, buddy. I'm going to have to be careful here. This guy is not going away. Come on, horse. Stay on the road, we'll be fine. Alright, here we go. Here we go! Finish line, go, go, go! I think we got this. Oh, we've got this. First place, bitches! Nice. Hell of a race, mister! I'll take care of this cart for Mr. West Dickens. Thank you, thank you. Nice job. Right, best remove ourselves before somebody decides they want their money back. Fine by me. Wasn't that fantastic? The cheers of the crowd. Yeah, much fun. Alright, I'm skipping you. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you as little as possible, West Dickens. Alright, I think I think he's understand he understands because he's not talking to me now. Here we go. Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish. Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian rebel or such. Uh, Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? What could be better? All right. Is that a stranger? Is that why there's a question mark right here? Uh, funny man. Funny man, huh? You better make me laugh, and I'm not kidding. Alright, where the fuck are you? Funny man. My, my, take a look at you. Will you take a look at you? You look like you've seen trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding me, mister. I like the sound of that. Do I ever like the sound of that? Trouble with a capital T. That's just capital. Whatever you say. Cold, tough, but with a heart of gold. The cowboy sings his lonely song like, like a dog whose bone is made of wood. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. I, I was just writing my next piece. I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vivre for the ladies back east. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. Yeah, my ma felt the same way. And now she wrote me out of her will, and there's no hope for any of us. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Saint, sir, at your disposal. But uh, please don't dispose of me just yet. <laughs> what are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing the spirit of the West for a monthly back east. You know, I'm uh, sending them my oh-so-witty and oh-so-pertinent missives and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain. So it's action I'm after, and action I'm gonna find, too. <laughs> Wild men, 
Cheap women, you know, guns, that sort of thing. <laughs> well, you have fun. Fun? <laughs> I'm gonna have the time of my life, sport. I tell you, mister, the time of my little old life. <laughs> Funny man journal entry added. Let's pay off my bounty so nobody's after me. <laughs> One count of robbery. Three dollars! Gee, I'm so sorry. There are old edition newspapers for sale that you can purchase. Oh, really? Let's check them out. How much? A dollar? Yeah. What's in here? There is no new edition of newspaper available for sale yet. Come back and check after a few more exploits. Can I read that? Well, let me see what it says about the funny man. Strangers. Inactive. You met a... Okay. Return to McAllister's camp and give him the land deed. Uh, you met a rider visiting from Manhattan at the train station in Benedict Point. He is travelling around to observe life on the last frontier. So I guess we're going to see him again sometime soon. But we got to go to uh, McAllister's camp and give that back. Where's the newspaper? Will that be here somewhere? Um... Yeah. Read to learn about current events. Let's have a looky look. What do we have here? Oh, look at all this. We can just full read it if we want. Williamson Gang Rang of Terror. Ah, interesting. I don't really... I'm not really bothered to read that. You can read that if you want. You can pause it right there if you want to read it. Uh... Residents of Armadillo are baffled by the mysterious and somewhat repugnant case of Moses IV. Interesting. Humorous cracks jokes arrive. Jimmy Saint. Oh, they talked about Jimmy Saint. Okay. Tumbleweed haunted. People missing in Chola Springs. Cattle rustling worse than ever in New Austin. An orgy of telephones. Hmm. That sounds like a nice Friday night. Okay, well, that's that's fun, cool. All right, uh, where should we go now? We have another fucking West Dickens right there. That's like the closest horse breaking job. Sets over there. Where's Irish? Where is Irish? Oh, here. Armadillo. Oh, and that's a stranger. Um, well, I mean, we've got West Dickens pretty much over here, so... There's a stagecoach. Let's take that. Why don't you jump up? Yeah, I will. Thank you very much. I can go a little faster. Where to, sir? The plane view, please. Why not take a nap in there? Alright. Plain view. Let's check it out. Wes Dickens, what do you have for me this time, buddy old pal? Mr. Marston, sir. John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, then certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> You read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. <laughs> um, sir. Sir. 
I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act. For you, but sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck was that? This guy's fried as fuck. Just <laughs> mingle with the crowd until the show starts. All right. Hey guys, how you doing? And oh, oh, look at that. Are you ready to change your lives forever? I have something truly extraordinary to show you today. A medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of scientific research. Are they not a little bit wary that we'll just like hot? Ooh. 